Craft Box. I'm Stephanie Matthews, and today we are talking about juniper. I am in the Mojave Desert, and this specifically is Mojave juniper, or the California juniper, or it's also called white cedar. And while these may look like little blueberries on this plant, they are actually resinous cones. That's right, little pine cones, because this is a coniferous pine tree. And while these little berries are called berries, they in fact have a giant seed inside of them and they are resinous. And so these little berries are very medicinal though. A delicious drink is often made out of them. You might know it's called gin. But besides gin, these little berries have some amazing healing properties. You can make a tea with them to help things like urinary tract infections, uh, hangovers, clearing out your kidneys and liver. They're very detoxifying and they can even help with inflammation. One little secret that most people don't know about these little berries is they can help with cellulite. Ah! Juniper berries should be in every woman's closet, right? Secret ingredient. So to make a simple tea, you would actually want to boil these for about 10 minutes rather than making a infusion, which is simply taking boiling water and pouring it over, you want to make a decoction with the juniper berries. And that would be actually putting them in the boiling water, letting them boil for a good 5, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the strength that you want, and then sipping on this throughout the day. The leaves are also an incredible medicinal. You can actually make a tea out of the leaves, which they've said can hear hangovers, they can help with inflammation, and this whole plant is a very medicinal healing plant. And so with the berries, I have made a tincture with them. So I have put them in 190 proof ethanol alcohol and I have soaked them for six weeks. And this is going to be an, inc an incredible digestive aid. This is gonna help be a diuretic as well. So this is actually going to help um, build up the urine system to help release and it get rid of any toxicity that has been built up in the liver and the kidneys. And so both the juniper, so Skyan and Zion just found a heaping mound of juniper leaves so that I can send some beautiful juniper smudge sticks to all of our patrons this month. So the Native Americans or indigenous people would actually use the juniper berries as a flower, but it was actually only used as a very last resort. And so those actually with chronic kidney issues should not incorporate juniper berry into their diet as it is so stimulating and so it really pulls out the toxicity. And if your kidneys are already have a chronic disease in them, you do not want to overtax them. So that is something to be concerned and always consult your doctor before creating or taking any new medicines that might interact with things or symptoms that you currently have. So the leaves are an incredible thing to have in your medicine cabinet though. As they, like I said, they, they help with inflammation. They can help um, really create a detoxifying atmosphere in your body. She's the best. Oh, I love you, Skyan. So these scaly leaves of the juniper plant can be used to help induce a fever. Again, this is such a purifying and detoxifying plant. This is gonna induce a fever to really get out any toxicity or poisoning that is happening inside the body. It will actually help with a hangover and lower your blood pressure. Again, a word of caution, if you are on blood pressure medication already, this can reduce your blood pressure too much. So again, consult your physician before you in, it, try or incorporate any new uh, herbal remedies into your diet. But I would highly suggest if you're curious about the benefits of the juniper plant and wanting to incorporate them into your own life, 
this is a tree and a plant or a shrub that I would highly recommend having in your apothecary. And I am so excited to send you out all the goodness that this plant has to offer in your nature craft box this month. So I look forward to sharing this with you on your doorstep, as I love to do each month. If you're curious about what nature craft box is, I invite you to go visit our Patreon page, which is Patreon. Love you! Which is patreon.com backslash nature craft box. Here you will find information about how to receive the incredible goodies that as we travel around the country, send out to those who support us. And if you are enjoying these videos and learning about wild plants in your neighborhood, please like, subscribe, and share so that we can continue to offer these in a way that encourages and inspires you to go explore your neck of the woods. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.